For thousands of years, blood was the mysterious fluid that somehow gave life. Now we know how. The average adult has about five quarts of blood circulating through their body. This is approximately 8% of the average body's total weight. Blood has four components plasma, red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. About 55% of blood is plasma, the largest component of blood. Plasma is a light straw color and is more than 90% water. Blood is mostly plasma because all the other blood components float in it. Besides the red and white blood cells and platelets, plasma also carries other substances like nutrients, proteins, electrolytes, hormones, respiratory gases, and fibrinogen, which is used to clot blood. Red blood cells, called erythrocytes, are what make blood red. The job of each red blood cell is to carry oxygen to and remove carbon dioxide and other waste products from every cell in the body. Although red blood cells are small, about seven microns wide and two microns thick, they are very efficient because of their numbers. Erythrocytes are concave on both sides, giving them a large surface area. Each erythrocyte is composed of about 280 million hemoglobin molecules. And each hemoglobin molecule can carry four oxygen molecules. So, each red blood cell can carry roughly a billion oxygen molecules. And there are approximately five million red blood cells in one cubic milliliter of blood. This amounts to over 35 trillion red blood cells per person with a total combined surface area of about 3,820 square meters. That's 2,000 times more surface area than the body's total external surface area. White blood cells, called leukocytes, are bodyguards. Their job is to protect the body against infections and tissue damage by destroying harmful bacteria and viruses. There are five to 10,000 white blood cells per cubic milliliter of blood, far fewer than red blood cells. But leukocytes have the ability to travel freely from blood vessels to body tissues using the circulation system like a freeway to converge at infection sites. Platelets, called thrombocytes, are round or oval discs about 3 microns in size. There are approximately 130 to 400,000 platelets in a cubic milliliter of blood. Platelets protect the body by forming clots to stop blood loss and help repair tissue damage. Like white blood cells, platelets can travel freely through the circulation system to areas of injury. There they block blood flow by sticking to each other and to the edges of the injury, entangling with fibers made from fibrinogen. 